The potential of these networks for computational creativity is humongous. For example, the work we do at the MetaCreation Lab on controllable expressive movement generation using factored constraint restricted Boltzmann machine on a corpus of motion capture data. We use a model of affect known as valence and arousal, which is the main dimensional model to represent emotions in a continuous space. Valence represents how happy or sad the agent looks, and arousal maps the energy level of the agent. We are talking about the valence and arousal that one can perceive from a motion capture skeleton without facial expression. We first collected a large corpus of movement data. We captured a variety of movements from multiple actors and dancers with many takes to cover various emotional renderings and variations. For each movement, we had nine different takes covering the whole valence and arousal space as such. Then, we trained the factor constraint restricted Boltzmann machine for locomotion movements with valence, arousal, and direction of movement as factors. Factors allow to parameterize the network in order to control some of the dimensions of the generation. This is the resulting WaltNet system in action. At the bottom, we can see the activation of the various units of the hidden layer of the network. We can control the direction of the locomotion in real time in very smooth ways, even though there was not a take for every possible direction. What you see here is not a recording, it's what the network generates. We can interpolate between performers. We are seeing a male performer, but as we move the slider, we move towards a female performer. You can see the change, for example, in the style of movement of the hip. We can also change the arousal of the performer. We can interpolate between various levels of arousal. Here, the performer is walking very calmly with neutral valence. And here, the movement is getting more energetic and tense with higher arousal. Here, it is calm again, and eventually very depressed and sad and exhausted. Now, it stays calm but becomes confident, happy, and rested. This is real-time generation from the network. We see that we can interpolate between different styles and we can also extrapolate beyond those styles. There are obvious applications for animation, video games, film, and the motion capture and movement generation industries here. In terms of artistic applications, we started to train some deep neural network models on a multimodal corpus with both dance and music. The resulting DanceNet system is presented a little further in our lesson on generative systems in dance and choreography. The potential for artwork is certainly there. In conclusion, regarding deep learning in art, affordable GPU-powered machines and open-source deep learning development libraries have made the technology accessible to the masses, and a growing number of artists are exploring the vast space of new possibilities this entails. Research in computational creativity is already benefiting from the resurgence of interest in neural networks.